Tonight, we have an update to a story you saw only on KHOU 11 News. A couple in North Harris County had their food truck back after surveillance cameras captured a thief driving away with it yesterday. Matt Doherty shows us how the owners got it back today. Matt? In less than 24 hours after we showed you that video last night, that food truck is back where it belongs. And the owners had to take matters into their own hands to get it back. He took his time by... Uh, cutting this lock because this is no easy lock to cut. Yesterday afternoon, Charleston Malvo and his wife Bianca walked us through what happened. Shortly after 8 o'clock Sunday morning, a man in a maroon minivan pulls up, gets out, cuts the lock, hitches up the food truck and drives off. About 10 minutes later, Charleston and Bianca show up to their business and see their food truck is gone. At about 825, they call the sheriff's office. When they didn't hear back by 4.30 yesterday afternoon, they decided to call us to see if we could help. We told you about the theft on Sunday night, but this morning it wasn't clear if this story would have a happy ending. We got a lot of scam scammers calling us. At about 1.35, she received a more believable call. They gave us the address on where it was then. I, 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 was, I was a little worried. About 25 minutes after the call, Charleston did what authorities would discourage. Yeah, I was motivated. I was excited. He went to retrieve the food truck on his own. It was located on a property about four miles away. I had to um, make sure that it wasn't a lot of people around. Charleston was determined to reclaim what belonged to his family and brought it back to his family's business. Now the Malvos can get on with their dream of expanding into the food service business. We all love to eat. Mm -hmm. you know, I know I do. <laughs> and food is definitely good for the soul, just like laughter. They say the money they make with the food truck will be used for their children's future college tuition. Until then, chain it, lock it, remove the tires. Charleston is doing what he can to make sure nothing like this happens again. And he's hoping justice will take care of the rest. That's yeah, not right at all. Yeah, it's, it's not a right. At last check, deputies tell us they are still investigating. No arrests have been made. In North Harris County, I'm Matt Doherty, KHOU 11 News.